Time to talk about an important health topic. In fact, a common cause of liver disease in children is on the rise. And to learn more about it, we've brought in an expert in this area, Dr. Peter Freswick of the Spectrum Health Medical Group. Tell us about this. We're talking about fatty liver disease Correct. in children, pediatric. What is this disorder? It's a disorder when an excess amount of fat will be built up in the liver. So it generally um, will come a little bit later on in childhood, especially as you get into your teenage years. That's when we specifically see it. But we've seen it as early as five and six years old. It is the most common cause of liver disease in children, and it is one of the most common consequences of obesity in children. And so let's talk about um, how someone would be diagnosed with this. Is this something you have symptoms of, or is is there really no way to tell except for a doctor's checkup? Unfortunately, once you have symptoms, it's too far gone. So you really need to have those well screening visits with your pediatrician at that time if they see certain risk factors they will do some blood work and hopefully that will pick it up at that point they can either start the interventions themselves which we'll talk about or they refer to us so let's talk about the dangers of this fatty liver disease mm -hmm. what happens it, it sounds like it's something that targets your liver obviously. exactly yeah so extra fat can target a lot of different organs in this case it targets the liver the liver um, filters your blood so it's very very important what happens first is you have this reversible damage which is which is inflammation or the liver kind of gets angry is how I describe it to parents but unfortunately if that stays there for a number of years it'll eventually scar down and once the liver scars down then it's irreversible damage if you have 80% of your liver scarred down, then eventually it won't work anymore. Okay, so the important thing is early diagnosis and then intervention. And the good news is if caught early, there are really some, some great ways that people can help to reverse this disease. Exactly. So a number of the things that you focus on with children are health, are healthy lifestyle interventions. So there's a number of things like increasing your fruits and vegetables and other things. But with children these days, I like to focus on the zero one two, zero being that you should have zero servings of sugary. Uh, beverages per day. This is not just your pop and juice, it's actually things like Gatorade, which many people think is healthy, but it's really not that healthy for you. Um, another one is uh, physical activity. I don't say exercise, I just say children, you should get out there and just have fun. Enjoy the snow, enjoy the summer, whatever season it is. So sledding even, exactly, something sledding like that. Exactly, like we just talked about. Right. So, yeah. And then the last one is you should have not very much screen time. So this includes your iPhones, your iPods, not just your TV and video games. Less than two hours a day is very important. And so it really sounds like overall the strategy that most kids need to follow, or at least parents need to follow with their kids, of keeping them overall healthy will really help to target uh, the, the problems with this disease. Exactly. And one of the best things is that we usually catch it early enough in children that A, we can prevent that irreversible damage and B we can hopefully put some healthy lifestyle interventions that they'll carry on throughout the rest of their life. And so I was asking you about the numbers of cases that you're seeing yes. and the numbers are going up. They are going up. Now about one in three children are overweight or obese and with that one in three of those children will have fatty liver disease. So you're talking a large number of children, even here right in West Michigan, who will have this disease. And if people are interested in getting in touch with you, uh, I, I know that the first step really, those well child visits, so Ex important, a yearly absolutely. physical for your child. Yearly physical, if the doctor there sees something that they're concerned about, they'll get the labs and they'll refer them to us, but that is the most important. Yeah those every year screenings. Exactly. Yeah. They're tedious, but they're important. Very important. Thank you so much for being here with Thank us today. Thank you very much. An important topic I had never heard of before, and I think you probably let a lot of people know what to be on the lookout yes. for. Thank you so much. Unfortunately, Colin. Thank you. Thank you. And stay right there. More of 8 West when we come back. Are you West?